Hey guys, have you ever just spent hours creating the perfect edit and then you go to drop some drone footage in there and it's just not popping, it doesn't look good. It just looks like every other video edit out there. Well, if this sounds familiar, then this video's for you. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. You've all seen mirror images before. And really it's quite simple to do. All you have to do is just drag the mirror effect straight onto your footage and there you go, you're done. Sure, that's the simple way of doing this effect. But in this video, I really wanna show you how you can maximize this effect to get the most out of it. Specifically in this video, I wanna talk about how you can layer effects and use dynamic camera movements to really make this effect unique. I also want to get you out of that headspace of thinking about this as just a horizontal or vertical mirroring effect. Now I find that drone clips work the best for this type of effect. I find the ones where the drone is just flying forward or the camera is slowly tilting down or up work really well for this effect. But it doesn't really matter what sort of footage you use. I recommend just trying this effect on all different types of footage and just messing around with it to get unique looking shots. Now, if you're also new to After Effects or you want to know how to create amazing video effects, then definitely check out my Motion Effects Pro course for After Effects. It walks you through all the good stuff on how to use After Effects and make your video stand out with video effects. Now, if you're interested in that, you can check that out via the link in the description below. With this effect, I found that there's two different mirroring effects. The first is I've got my clip here in the timeline with an adjustment layer, and I just drag the mirror effect onto the adjustment layer above. Now I can move the mirror effect here to the center, and if I take my bottom layer, I can just move this or off-center it to create this mirror effect. Now this works really well for a straight up mirror effect. So if you've got movement in your shot, this is gonna work really well. But where it doesn't work so well is if I want to scale into my shot or move around, you can see that that mirror is affecting that movement, right? It's gonna, it's gonna mirror that movement in a way that we don't particularly want. We want to be able to zoom into the mirror effect without it being affected. Now we could just pre-compose that, but an easier way to do that is to come up here and use the motion tool. So I'm just gonna drag the motion tool straight on. I can drag up on the output width and height. Then when I drag my main clip down, you can see that we've got that effect there already. The advantage of this particular method is that when I zoom in and I make any adjustments to the clip, you can see that mirror effect is now being followed. For a lot of clips, just dragging and dropping that mirror effect straight on will work pretty well, it'll look pretty good. But I wanna show you how you can take that to that next level of really trying to add a dynamic camera movement to this. But before we move on, as someone who has built my entire business around having a website, I found an effective way to share video content with my fellow creators is to have a strong branded website that best showcases my work. So when the sponsor of this video, Zyro, said they had the easiest way to create a website or online store, I had to try them out. Now I have to admit, I was actually really impressed because it did exactly what they said it would do and allowed me to create a mock-up of my own website in about 15 minutes. And that is honestly no exaggeration. From never using Xyro before, I was able to design a website that showcased my brand by simply choosing from one of the hundreds of designer-made templates and customizing it to fit my needs. I personally really like how simple the drag and drop editor is to use. It feels really intuitive to simply reposition images and text. Now, having used other website builders in the past, I was really quite surprised to see just how extremely fast Zyro loaded when building and previewing my website. Now, Zyro is the most affordable option I've seen in the market. With Zyro's limited time deal, you too can create a stunning website in minutes, starting from just $2.61 a month. With a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 support, use the special coupon code Effects 
to get an additional 10% off Xyro yearly plans plus a free domain for a year. And for a limited time when clicking the link or using the code Flatpak Effects, you'll get three extra months free with any yearly plan. And the best part is this deal applies on top of your regular discount. You can check it all out via the link in the description below. I can create a position scale and rotation here at the start and the ends of my clip. Then with the ones here at the start, what I can do is I can zoom right into my shot and I can add a little bit of rotation here. And straight away, that's made this shot so much more interesting. Now the camera movement is obviously not that smooth and I really wanna try and smooth this out by really adding that sort of ramp sort of to the camera movement at the start. So the way we do this is I can select all of those and make them easy ease. Then I can come into the graph editor. Now with my position, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drag in on these points here to really exaggerate that movement. I'm going to do the same with the scale. And straight away, that's made this shot look so much more unique and more dynamic. Now there's one other thing you could do is in the graph editor with that position and scale, is you could drag up on these first keyframes here just to help exaggerate that effect even more. Now to make this even more unique and really stand out, you need to start thinking about this in a three dimensional way and not just as a horizontal or vertical mirroring effect. So with this particular clip here, I've got this standard orbital drone shot that you can get with any standard drone. And I want to add the mirror effect to the adjustment layer above. Then I can drag in on that mirror effect. Then I can take that bottom layer and I'm going to rotate it on an angle and then I can scale in on this particular clip to get something that looks quite unique. Then I want to add the motion tile to that bottom layer, and that's just going to help hide those edges here. And straight away, we have something that looks really unique, and it almost looks three-dimensional, like the shot is rotating around a center axis. Then with both of those layers selected, I can pre-compose those into a new composition. Then I can add position and scale keyframes here at the start and the end. Then I've got a much more dynamic movement. One other thing I can do here is add motion blur for the composition and the layer. And that just helps tie this whole animation nicely together. Then I just use some simple rotation transitions between the clips here and the effect is completely done. So really this whole tutorial is about trying to get you away from just doing the drag and drop solution or the easy solution. You really wanna try and take it to that next level of trying to make it unique. So it's all about layering effects. So this is a very simple effect, but we're just layering a few things together to make it look really unique. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can check out more videos just like this one over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.